Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for uh, it's going to be for June eighteenth, twenty fifteen. Yeah, I almost jumped the year, didn't I? I did not sleep in my clothes. I actually had a really good idea. I wanted to get recorded here for you guys uh, for this Thursday. Uh, just kind of, I'm still have my mind, and I had a great lunch and, and 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 talked about a lot of really cool ideas that we could be doing with video. And I'm really kind of stretching my brain on this kind of stuff. So, and I had so much fun on 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 for Tuesday's show with Instagram and talking about what can we do with Instagram video, right? I, I, I'm periscoping like a mother over here, and and they go, well, they're getting sick of me over on Periscope at this point, I'm sure. Uh, but anyways. Keep those hearts coming, but guys. Uh, but I love saying, "Hey, how about some hearts?" and seeing hearts come up and getting that uh, immediate response. That, that's a pretty cool feeling too. Uh, anyways, uh, but that, that, that's not here for there. So Twitter video. We talked about on yesterday's episode about Twitter video, what you can do with it, why is it important be, for it to be auto playing in particular. And again, kind of still hot in my head. Uh, so, uh, hello, Brazil, uh, on Periscope. Uh, still hot on my head was uh, like, how are we using it? You know, again, you know, kind of the idea, of Vaynerchuk, I'm going to say again, you know, we kind of had that idea of you respond to people in, in video form if they're just talking to you and saying what's up. And, and that's something I'm playing with on my personal account, but I'm also kind of considering in what ways can we do that on, um, on our brand accounts as well. You know, for instance, I'm looking at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. And this is also something, you know, obviously we have the stuff that we make and that's mostly what yesterday was about was the stuff or month or Tuesday was about was the stuff that we make, the stuff that we can uh, develop and process and edit and put on Instagram and Twitter and everything like that. So I'm thinking, what can we do on the fly? This thing is made. The, Twitter obviously is not letting you up, uh, upload video uh, via the desktop through a browser. So. That tells me, that sends a signal to me that that's not what they want you to do. They want you to be at that place and record, 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 you know, uh, and, and, you know, the Periscope. I want to pull this up on my phone. I'm not Periscoping from, from my desktop, from my iMac or anything like that. That would be uh, probably boring, you know. Uh, but anyways, they want sh moments. I think they want unfiltered and... And 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 that's what they're that's what they're pushing for. So so why not play into that a little bit more? You can hack it a little bit. There's nothing wrong with pack, you know hacking it. You know, like I feel like we are by developing something, throwing it over on my phone and uploading it. That, I mean, there's that. But I really think you know this idea. Okay, so 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 you're taking that, you're responding. Say we do the wrestling one. What if we do? What if say you know. Unfortunately, Dusty Rhodes passed. Some of you guys may have been familiar, familiar with him. What if uh, we went on there and we said, hey, everybody, send us a Twitter video because you all have your phones. You all can do video. Maybe not everybody's aware of it. Hey, guys, send us a Twitter video of you doing your best Dusty Rhodes impression or boogie dance, for instance. Um, I think that would be a really good concept and then you get these videos and 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 you can share these videos and you can share your audience doing your dusty impressions back with the rest of your audience you know uh what if uh what if on a specific maybe we'll try this next monday night uh for monday night raw we're very active during that we'll say hey guys uh cut a promo let's say uh, uh you know such and such uh, 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 Brock Lesnar just came back on, on Monday night. He's a UFC fighter. He's in there right now. Cut your biggest promo on Brock Lesnar. Do it in video. Send it over. You know, have fun with it. And not everybody's going to do it. You know, I think there's a little bit of accessibility uh, where people aren't going to like put their face out there. Or maybe they'll be more willing to because it's Twitter. And, uh,. <laughs> And somebody's asking me, how do you deal with reading something uh, while talking? Typically, when I'm reading something and have a chat room, I have uh, a co-host so I can check it in between them. And uh, it's really kind of a multitask in my brain that I'm failing at. But anyways, but I like the feedback, and, and especially if it's topical but, or anything like that. Uh, but this is an exercise. So 
so you can do something like that and be interactive with that. Um, uh, maybe uh, in our other process where you know we're talking about mindfulness and happy things and everything like that, we can say uh, to our audience, if we had one built, we're still building one for Twitter, so I don't think this is actually going to fly. Uh, we can say, hey, Twitter video, it's a nice day out. Look at this. Twitter video, how awesome it looks in the blue sky, and send that back to us and, and tweet us with that, and we can share those. It, it's another way to kind of interact and get into uh, that process, get into the media you know, uh, you're the more that we do this, it's not going to be the text that we put on sc- on our in our phones. It's not going to be the text that we put anywhere. You know, how how long have we been talking about if you want any track any traction on Facebook, Google Plus, etc.? You want to put big, beautiful pictures because that's what's going to catch people's eyes. Now, the thing that's going to catch people's eyes and catch people's attentions are video, and have that accessibility you know it, it, i can't i can't sit there and edit a video put it up and be timely right but you can sit there and do a video and say give me your response to this thing that happened today right now give me the response to uh, the black house winning the finals 10 minutes ago you know I, you know something like that and then now you're involved in the conversation you get other people back involved with the conversation now you do have the problem for this to be searchable, for this to work out. You do have to make sure everybody's saying things. I'm finding myself saying an important phrase from my video in the tweet about my video, for instance. I did. I, I had a fun one today. So uh, Dan Hooven, hi, gonna plug it again. I I know he's very active and and and, and shares this and responds to me about this show. Uh, so I want I kind of want to give a, a kind of thank you thing. So I kind of did the mini promo and I was like, hey everybody, check out Dangerous Dan Hooven. So I was like, and I was like, I named it something like uh, what you should know about Dangerous Dan Hooven, and I tagged them on it. And uh, you know, just just a little something, and uh, maybe Brian Day, I, I don't know, uh, kind of playing with the concept and seeing what works and doesn't work, and finding reasons to do it. That's the thing too. Is is with any of these social media, you know, you got to find, you have to have that presence in mind of looking at a situation and say, oh, I should, I should really share this with, with our audience. You know, oh, this is something about what we do. Oh, this is just an interesting thing. You know, whatever the case may be, it doesn't have to be motivated by, the motivation has to be genuine engagement, not just engage with me so you'll buy my thing. That's why you do it in general. Maybe this is the thing that's going to keep you afloat, but I'm hoping the hope and the, and the hope is the thing that you want people to buy, you are passionate about. And you genuinely want them to buy it, not just to pay for your mortgage. Uh, you genuinely want, want them to buy it because you're like, listen, this is awesome. And I think you should think it's awesome, too. And you should experience this. You know, um, we uh, that, that's a whole other philosophy. But uh, but we're stretching out, uh, you know, what, what 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 can you do that with that Twitter video? Uh, you know. Seeing, you know, and it's more than just the, well, this is me. I'm I'm going to do this. Here's downtown Pittsburgh. Here's this. You know, uh, I took a few things kind of while I was walking around, and uh, and, and and kind of playing with that. And uh, you know, it's it's. It's interesting. It's interesting. I'm still working my way around it. Let me know what you think. What are you going to use for Twitter video for? What do you want me to use Twitter video for? Because mm-hmm. you know I'll do it. You know I'll freaking do it. Uh, let me know here on Sorgatron.com if you find this podcast online. It's uh, iTunes, uh, Stitcher, Spreaker, all that stuff. And uh, continue the conversation. Hey, if you're responding to this on Twitter, give me a Twitter video back about what you think about Twitter video. Let's completely make this a go-around thing and make this happen. Whoa, I hit a button. Hit a button over there. All right, we'll see you guys next time at Sorgatron on Twitter. Later. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.